Hello, today I'm going to be painting this moth. It's a comet moth from Madagascar. Now, you saw a picture then of the line drawing I made from that book. Uh, the line drawing um, is available free to download from my Patreon. You don't have to join the Patreon um, to download it. I'm just going to have it in there because it's a convenient place to have it. So if you want the outline so you can have a go at this yourself, it's there for free. And the link is down below in the description box to my Patreon. So I've gone in with, so I've started off with Aeolian Yellow. And at the moment, I'm just covering the page with colour. Um, the colours that I'm going to use in the moth are the pinks and the yellows, the pinky purples and the yellows. So I'm just putting on, now this pink is Quinacridone Coral. And it's mixed in with some Purple Puddle, which is a mixture of Elysium Crimson and another colour, which I can't remember. Where's my chart? I'll be able to tell you by looking at my chart. Now, I use Winsor & Newton mostly watercolours. And I do have a list. I do have a list of them in a video in this channel. So have a look for that. Oh, I can't see what colour that was. So, oh, what would it have been? Perylene. That's what's in that muddy puddle. So it's... A mixture of those colours and now I've added in some cobalt blue because the tips of the wings at the top have a more bluey tinge so I've added some cobalt blue to this messy puddle of purple I've got there now I'm adding in some of the markings this obviously is a speeded up version I did record a slower one but it was a bit too lengthy adding some of the detail now so I start off very loosely I did the background and I don't know if you can see but between the wings there's a bit of texture I put some salt on and let that dry overnight then I came in the next day and I began with the details it's the way I like to work so I start off with a larger brush and I gradually get smaller so now I'm doing the other side Adding a bit of darker blue to the bottom of that wing there and the colour flows in beautifully. One of the things you have to learn when you're using watercolours is um, the wet and dry stage stages. When they are when the paint is nearly dry but not quite, is a nice time to add in other colours. But that's something that comes with time and experience. If you're new to watercolours, you're in for a lovely fun journey. I do envy you because it is really fun learning them. They can be frustrating at times, but stick with it. You'll get there. They are really fun to use and really you can't go wrong with them. And now I'm using some of the um, more of the quinacridone coral mixed in with that purple to get just the right color for the these tails. Now, the reason why this moth has the tails is to deflect uh, bat attacks. <laughs> I'm assuming it messes up with the sound waves. Now I'm working on the body there and the antennae. They're very soft and feathery, so I'm, I'm making the edges soft around those. Now I'm working on the tail feathers. These are fascinating. I'd love to see this actually in flight. I think I might have to Google that later. I do find moths very fascinating. I think they're one of my favourite insects. I say that about most insects. I say, oh, I love bees. There's so many different types of bees. I find them fascinating. Then I say about beetles. Oh, I love beetles. They're all so fascinating. There's so many different ones. Right, I'm adding in some of the warmer colour now, I do believe. Yes, um, I'm going in with a slightly warmer yellow over the top of the aerolin. And this is Windsor yellow I'm putting on now. I think the colour just needed a bit of warming up. I find the aerolin a little bit too cool. And I'm adding some of the details on the secondary inside wings. There's some markings there. I'm just putting them on and blending them out because they are soft. I'm going in again on the eyes because they're slightly messed up earlier. That's the beauty of watercolours. If you make a mistake, you can always fix them. 
And here I'm just adding a bit of depth here and there so that you can tell what's what and where things begin and end. Putting some darker bits where things are slightly underneath other areas. There's a bit of blue around there. I'm just putting that in. And now I'm adding some more to the fluffy body. This moth has a very fluffy body, so I'm trying to indicate that by loose markings. And again, I'm just putting a bit more detail on the wings that are underneath, just so that it shows up that they are, are underneath the top wings. Just getting rid of that there. And now I'm adding a bit more depth again with that warmer yellow. Some more of the warmer yellow on the right hand wing now. And I'm much happier with the colour. <laughs> I'm going to work again on the... Oh, I was going to work on the, the feathers, but no, I'm going in with a bit of outlining. There's a bit of a mark around, along the edges of those wings. And now I'm redoing the eyes again. I think this is the third time. <laughs> I could not get them right. You would have thought they'd be the easiest part. No, for some reason I found those difficult, the difficult bit. And now I'm working on the feathers a bit more, just giving them a bit more detail. They are fascinating. Um, the lunar moth also has, has these amazing tail feathers and there's a Chinese moth that has them as well. And now I'm going to, there's some veining on the wing and I'm just putting that in now. I think I go in a bit too heavy at first, so I'm lifting it off slightly with the wet brush. And now on the right hand side, I'm putting them in and that's definitely a lot heavier. So I, I deal with that immediately and just wetting and dabbing. And that gets rid of the heaviness of those marks because they really are subtle in real in the actual moth. And again, I'm working on those eyes. <laughs> oh dear, I did struggle with those. Blotting on and blotting off and I'll get there in the end. <laughs> I'm very nearly, um, very nearly satisfied with them. So do let me know if you have a go at this yourself. I'm just doing some splatters. I get some on my uh, lens, but never mind. I'm dabbing off somewhere I don't want them. And that's the completed picture. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do please subscribe if you want to see more watercolour paintings from me. And please press the like button. That always helps. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.